On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, we asked the Chiefs what happened in the Port of Baltimore. I'm your host, Sal Mercagliano. Welcome to today's episode. So before I became a historian, I was a merchant mariner, but I was a deck officer in the Merchant Marine, which means I was involved in piloting the vessel from point A to point B. I was not involved in the operation and running of the ship's engines and machinery below deck. And as a deck officer, I had a fairly, how should I say it, simplistic view of how the ship's engines work and what made that propeller turn around. Really, there's more to it than just that? Okay. As I said, I had a simplistic view of how things work down in the engine room. But today, there are several videos out that I want to recommend you look. One of the best things about YouTube is you can find subject matter experts that give you their perspective that I think is worth their weight in gold. There are also other people out there who don't know what the frick they're talking about. But in this case, I want to recommend you over to two people who are both chief engineers. They're chiefs on board ships. On board a, a commercial ship, there's only one chief, and that is the chief engineer. The chief mate is the mate, but the chief engineer runs everything below deck. And matter of fact, on a merchant ship, there are parallel command structures. Uh, the chief engineer has four stripes. He is equivalent to a captain, a master of a vessel. However, the master is the ultimate authority on running a ship. These two chief engineers have come out with some videos I think are really important for you to take a look at. Now, if you saw my video on the timeline of the motor vessel Dolly, I referenced both of these gentlemen in my video. So the first one here is Steam Man. This is Eric Barton, a friend of mine. He's a graduate of the State University of New York Maritime College. But he just put out two videos that go in more depth here dealing directly with the motor vessel Dolly. The first one here deals with the emergency generator system and how it deals with the power to the steering system so you get a good kind of zoomed in view of what an emergency diesel generator looks like, and more importantly, the control systems that he talks about. And then he has another video that looks specifically at the steering gear system so that you can look at exactly how the steering gear system down in the steering compartment works. Both those videos are great. They provide you a zoom in on that. And plus, he has a series of other videos dealing with engines down below. He started his, his channel to deal with the last of the steam-powered vessels, but he's morphed into talking about a lot more than that. And then the other channel I want to recommend you to, and again, I had this in my video on the Dolly timeline, is that of Chief McCoy. Now, I've been waiting for this video to come out because I knew he was going to do one. And Chief McCoy just did a video, just dropped, uh, what caused the power failure on board the Dolly incident. He breaks down piece by piece the video and the timeline we got from the VDR. I referenced Chief McCoy in my earlier video. I actually used a video he did about the main engine startup. This video is excellent. I mean excellent. I was going to do a commentary about it, but I don't even want to do it. I just want you to go over to Chief McCoy. Just go to his video and watch his video. You will be smarter for watching his video. You will understand so much more about what happened with the Dolly than listening to me comment about him. Go to the person. Always go right to the source. A uh, couple of things I will note about what the chief said in his video, which I thought was really interesting. He deals with the timeline. So he talks about, for example, why the ship potentially lost power and power came back and then lost power again. So he talks about the issue of the emergency uh, diesel generator on the ship, along with the ship's main uh, diesel generators. He talks about the black smoke coming out of the vessel. He goes into a, a real great discussion about that. He talks about why the ship lost steerage. And he goes into a very good uh, discussion about when the ship lost its main propulsion, it started losing way on the rudder so that even if they had rudder command, they may not have been able to maneuver the vessel based on the loss of the propeller wash across the rudder. And then finally, he talks about the issue of fuel, which I think is really, really important. Uh, plus, he's got great visuals, great imagery. Just go to Chief's video, and you will be, again, smarter for watching the Chief. Uh, he's, he's fantastic about it, and I don't want to waste your time any further with that. I'll have the links to all those videos right here, right above, so you can go right to them. I'll have them in the end of the video, too, so you can go to each of those pages. Uh, because, again, one of the things that YouTube does is it creates a community where you can find subject matter experts who talk about this. And I can't say this enough. There's so much commentary out there right now that is bad. I, I mean, it's just bad. I mean, they don't know 
what they're talking about. They don't understand it. I'm not going to point any fingers, but you know, you know, these are massive vessels. And if you've never worked on a commercial vessel, it's not the same as a Navy vessel. It's not the same as your little sailboat or pleasure boat. Uh, a thousand foot long, 110,000 ton vessel with a slow speed diesel uh, engine directly connected to a right-handed prop is going to act differently than any other boat unless you've been on one of them. And I think it's really important to understand that and to go right to the source. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And more importantly, go over and see Chief McCoy, Chief Barton, listen to them. You will be smarter people for listening to that. And let me be clear, I don't say that much about Eric Barton sometimes, but in this case, definitely go listen there. Eric's a buddy of mine, so I can say this about him. Go listen to the video and you will enjoy it. And go look at their other videos. They're great channels. Subscribe to them. Uh, go look at their videos. Give them some likes. Give them some love. Uh, they definitely, definitely deserve it. And, and if you want to know what video I've been waiting for coming out, it was these videos by Eric and also by Chief McCoy. Until our next episode, this is Sal signing off. Hey, don't forget, don't just support my page. Go support their pages. They deserve it too. So go give them likes. Go give them uh, support. Go give them uh, 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 subscriptions and their Patreons and, and super thanks. Go like them because they do a great, great job. Till the next video, Sal, signing off.